Hello, people. Hi. So, after movie over in the dark, because it is currently 6 a.m., we've Holy been. Shit. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, as you can see by the title, we just got friends watching Freddy versus, versus Jason. Jason after 13 years. Oh, God, yes. It's been. This movie has been out for oh, so much time, and I never took the night to see it. But it's Halloween! Well, it's, it's Halloween October. month. It's October. Why am I placing it there? No. <laughs> Oh my god, it's Halloween season, and let's kick it off with something good. So, Halloween month, let's kick it off with something good. So we finished watching Freddy vs. Jason. Let's do that. Let's watch horror movies and do after movie overviews. Let's do a challenge, a 30-day horror movie 30 days? Challenge. Yes. Oh, yeah. We can watch 30 horror movies in 30 days, watch one every single night, and just give an after movie overview, and which one... What, what what better to kick it off than with Freddy Such versus an epic Jason? Movie. Okay, I'm gonna play this off to Amy. Just some difficulties of the audio is better. All right, so quick backstory. When I was ten years old, I was taken to see this movie because I really wanted to see it, and I did not understand the story because I was ten years old. I did not follow it. But fun fact: when I went home that night and went to sleep. I had a dream that Freddy was chasing me through down the stairs of a two-story house and I hid under a table and the last thing I saw before I woke up was were his feet and then his claw and then as he went like peekaboo I woke up. That is what happened after I saw this movie so I really hope I don't have another nightmare. <laughs> but anyway, let's kick it off. Oh god. I can see why this is the script that convinced Robert England to go ahead and just say, you know what, fuck it, let's do this movie. I loved it so much. I know I said that about every movie, but this one, oh my gosh. It has everything. It has enough sex to make it raunchy, but not filthy. Yeah. It has enough gore to make you go like, yeah. But it's not a gore, no. It just has enough gore. You it's know. just... It's, I would say it's a realistic amount of blood. It's a realistic amount of blood. It's no gore, no. A realistic, realistically gory. Throwing shade on the Saw franchise. <laughs> um, and also, oh gosh, what can I say? I don't want to make it too boring because it's like in the dark. <laughs> um, hold on. The storyline, the plot, what can I say about it? It is... They did kind of try to stuff a lot in there, mm -hmm. but it was not it was not overly done. Like they didn't try to just put everything in there and make you understand the story. They put just enough of their stories in there for you to understand just in case you haven't seen any of the movies or all the movies because I've only seen first two Freddy movies, no Friday the 15th movies. And although I was a little bit confused, it gives you, it gives you just enough backstory on each character for you to understand the plot of this movie. The story is very is complex to a certain point, but it is followable, um, so, to, so to speak. It is very well done. It is very intricate. It's not complicated, it's intricate, and that's something that I will applaud. And just the story, they get to it. And it's not like nowadays where they do these versus movies, where they do like mashups. Uh, throwing shade on Batman vs. Superman again. <laughs> uh, throwing more shade again. Which, uh, quick note on versus movies. We should probably watch How'd That Go vs. Psycho, The Ring vs. The Grudge. Yeah, th we, sh we should do that during this year, this, this challenge. Yes. So, like, in, I don't want to say it, but in Batman vs. Superman, there's only like 50 seconds of actual fight in this one we get like but in this one three fight scenes we get three fight scenes and what is awesome is that we get them on each other's turf there's a fight sequence in a dream which is freddy's world and there's a fight sequence at camp crystal lake so that was awesome isn't it convenient that elm street is right by crystal lake <laughs> how funny in the in the sense that they take nothing to get there and they just knew where it was well this is not cinema sins i'll leave that to cinema sins <laughs> but yeah i loved it I loved it. And is that Slayer? No, Slipknot. Maybe. It sounds like Slipknot playing the playing one of the of the credit songs. I go look up this. 
Yeah. But yes, awesome. I loved it. I loved it so much. This one's just, it just gets a freaking 10 out of 10 for nostalgia value. It gets a freaking 10 out of 10 because the storyline is cool. If you haven't seen any of the movies, you're still going to understand the plot of this movie specifically. It doesn't explain all the series separately, but you will understand this plot. And fucking awesome. Let's see. What else? Mm. So 10 out of 10 for plot line, story value, nostalgia value, and acting. Acting. Last movie as Robert with Robert England as Freddy, I believe. So yeah, I loved it. I loved it. It just gets a 10 out of 10 because it's not the perfect scary movie. It's a perfect slasher film, I would say. Of course it has sins because no movie is without sin. But yes, I loved it. I freaking loved it so, so much. Characters, acting, eh, teenage acting, what can you say? Eh. But yeah, I loved it. I loved it so freaking much. And I'm going to hand this over to Ryan because I can't, I don't, I can't think of anything else to say. So I already took up five minutes of it, so here you go. Bonjour. So... Let's start off with my three criterias. Badassery, sass, and feels. Badassery. Yes, so much fucking badassery. Freddy. Freddy Krueger. Freddy Muffin Krueger. Oh my god, he's awesome. I love Freddy. He's weird. He's disturbing. He's oh, freaky. Oh, pause, pause. And it makes it a lot cooler because we actually met Robert England about two years ago. Oh yeah, we met Robert England at our first horror fest. I think I'm going to link the video talking about that and also the picture I have with Robert England. We put, so, we put a thumbnail on the video. Yeah. But, no, the thumbnail is always the poster. No, uh, on... Oh, an annotation, an annotation. The image on the video. The, oh, yeah, I guess like I can do that. Image. Okay, so... Freddy is awesome. He's so fucking badass. Eddie Mamon. I don't know how to say that in English. He's he's, he's very witty. Man. He's a smart-ass piece of shit. Does he say Mamon? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. But Freddy is awesome. And Jason. Oh, my God. I love Jason. I actually, ha I actually have seen some uh, Friday the 13th movies. Saw one and two. It, they were awesome. I love Jason. I would have to say he's... I, th I think I will say that... Well, Jason and Freddy are definitely my favorite horror characters. I can't really but, pick a yeah. number one. Yeah, yeah, I love Jason. Definitely. He's so badass. He gives no shit, hunty. The way he kills people is just so exaggerated, and because he's a monster, he's awesome, he's huge, it's awesome. I hate that I always remember things I want to say when you start talking, but yeah, I'm going to say that the killings were a little over the top, to but, say, yes. but they were just enough to like, you know, they can get away with it, because it's Freddy versus Jason, like they had the license to get a away with it, because this movie is shit on the laws of physics, they throw people... They throw people in angles that you can't imagine, and <laughs> so... It's very video game logic, I would say. Yeah, but they, they earned it to get away with that type yes. of things. Because motherfucking J Freddy versus Jason. Okay, uh, sass. Yes, sass. Because again, Freddy is a piece of shit. So, he's sassy as all fuck. He's witty. He's annoying. I hate him, but I love him. <laughs> sass. Feels. Not much feels. Well, well, feels anything, but I don't get... There's no sad feels, no happy feels. You feel excited. You feel very excited because it's fucking awesome. Right, so, Jason, bitch, my three criteria is hunting. I need to talk about more. All the characters are forgettable. I actually... I feel like the characters were just there because they needed characters to get the story going. <laughs> yeah. Because Jason doesn't talk and Freddy is, is a piece of shit. Yeah, I know that. So, yeah, I think the story of the people is just kind of extra. And I'm going to say that there's a bit of... There's quite a few loose ends with the story, with the character story, but I don't really care because... The only thing people want is Freddy versus Jason, and that was fucking awesome. They compensated the lack of story with the fight scenes. I think, yeah, but the lack of story didn't really irk me that much. I know, me neither. Because I, it was, Freddy it was versus forgivable. Jason. It was forgivable. It's all awesome. the fight scenes are amazing. They're amazingly choreographed. They're ridiculous. I don't know. I love the. I I don't I don't know what to prefer more. Either spoiler alert. This this movie is like twenty is like ten years old already. Thirteen. That. Uh, I don't know which one, which fight I like more. Either the one in the dream world, or the one at the end, when they're on the pier. Because that pier fight was on because they're, like, down to their last resort, and they're just punching and kicking and stabbing and, ah! And then they use each other's weapons. That was cool. Oh, that was awesome. That, at the end, so they somehow ended up with each other's, with each other's weapon. Yeah, for me, both fight scenes get a 10 out of 10, because I love them all. I love them both. Uh, what else can I say in the week? It was awesome. I have never seen this movie. Uh, it was... I was, you were, if you were 10, I was 7? Yes. 
Uh, I was it's, 10, you were 6. Yes, I was 6 years old when we came out. I did not see it. This is the first time I ever see it. Come. Really? Yes. This is the first time I ever seen the movie start to finish. Oh, okay, it okay, It okay. was one hell of an experience, many years later. Guess the finish is off, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, it was that's awesome. A, that's this annoying thing YouTubers do. But who wasn't... Well, everybody's lying if you say that Jason or Freddy was, weren't or wasn't, either one of them wasn't, your first childhood nightmare. So comment down below. Idiota. <laughs> and tell us who was your first childhood nightmare, whether it was Freddy, Jason, or I don't know, Michael Myers or something. I don't know. Who else is there? Pennywise. Chucky. Oh, Pennywise and Chucky. Oh, God. They were, I love them oh, so God. much. Maybe we should watch those movies, too. They're on Netflix. Yay! Uh, what else? Cause, uh, let me finish this off. It's already gone for 10 minutes. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to give this movie a 10 out of 10. It is awesome. I love these characters. You the, love it so much, you'll forget all yeah. the, the bullshit. All the weird shit that's going on. Yeah. Yes. Because it's Fred vs. Jason. Yeah, it's away with it. epic. Epic to maximum portions. And it was very well done, very, I'm not going to say tasteful, but it was just very well done. Very good mashup. Yes, it was amazing. I just really hope no one gets the idea to make a Freddy vs. Jason with the reboots because that's going to suck. <laughs> no one liked the reboots. Not even the actors like the reboots. <laughs> Anyways, final thoughts. 10 out of 10. Fucking awesome movie. Watch if you have it. And now it's spooky season. Watch it even Physics more. Physics do not exist in that universe and they earn the right to get away with that bullshit. Anyways, I guess that's it for this video, so... Bye! Bye!